What's up all you beautiful people of the internet? My name is DJ Swifty and this is going to be my first video in one of several new series I have planned for my channel. In this series we will discuss the current state of Fortnite, the upcoming changes, hotfixes, and patches. I will tell you what is changing, provide my opinion on the changes, and even open up the comment section for debate to allow you to express your personal feelings as well. Whether you're fully educated on the upcoming changes and just want to hear my opinions, or for those of you who are too lazy to read the patch notes but still want to know how the game is changing, don't worry, I got you fam. So without any further delay, let's talk Fortnite. Before we get into the latest update, I would like to point out that the background game footage you are watching is from after the latest Assault Rifle hotfix, which we will be discussing today. On November 22nd, the Fortnite team released this message, saying that after Monday's hotfix, they have been noticing a lot of discussion about headshot multipliers, and after internal testing, they are adding the following changes to assault rifles into the game as of November 22nd, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The changes to assault rifles are as follows. Common assault rifle base damage reduced to 30, originally 32. Uncommon reduced to 31 from 33. Rare reduced to 33 from 35. Epic reduced to 35, and Legendary reduced to 36. Note that these damage changes apply to body shots only. However, the team is also reducing the headshot damage multiplier to 2.0 times, originally 2.5 times. It is also important to note that these changes only apply to the fully automatic rifles, and the scoped and burst variants of the assault rifle remain unchanged. Okay, DJ, you just gave me like a hundred numbers. I'm really confused. Can you tell me what's going on? What do all these numbers mean? Again, don't worry. I got you, fam. Alright, so let's think of it in terms of headshots. Previously, hitting another player in the head with a gray common assault rifle would land you a whopping 80 damage. With these changes, landing this same shot would now only net you a 60 damage crit. This changes everything. Often, especially towards the beginning of matches upon first landing, I found myself quickly eliminating players in two shots from our rifle, one to the head and a following one to the body, and this often came very unexpected. Now, rifle elimination seems smoother and more tactical. No longer should you just hold down the trigger hoping that you'll hit that one lucky shot with your rifle, but you should take the time to follow your target while tapping the trigger in order to maintain accuracy. So what does this change do to the current state of the game? I believe this change is a move in the right direction, as it makes the game much more competitive. Consider an enemy has just finished healing from bandages up to 75 health. Before. This would mean that enemy was one shot to the head away from elimination, from even the lowest damage assault rifle in the game. Now, it will require at least two shots from a common assault rifle to eliminate someone at 75 health, considering that the highest damage you can possibly do in one shot is now 60. This could make a major difference in a firefight especially considering how inaccurate the assault rifles tend to be at times, and how quick certain players are to react by either jumping, changing direction, or building for their own protection. After playing a few games, I knew quickly that I was enjoying this new change. Before, I used to get so annoyed when I'd be picked off from behind one hit before I was even able to do anything about it, but I now find myself having the time to react and make a counterplay whenever those situations occur. It even just seems to make sense. Now, even a legendary scar will still require hitting two shots in order to eliminate a target with 75 health. Because, if we math real quick, a legendary body shot does 36. Headshot multiplier at times two. Carry the one. <laughs>
Bam! 72 damage. Math. You use it in real life. Now this may not seem like a drastic change, but consider the outcome this could have on the way the game is played. You may begin to notice more players head bombing, a common destiny PvP tactic where a player continually crouches and stands up rapidly while firing at their target. This makes it much harder for their target to consistently land headshots. And although it is a cool and interesting tactic, its effectiveness in Fortnite still requires a lot of testing. Personally, I don't think it's that great of a tactic. The reason I say this is because I always take the time to line up a headshot on somebody as long as they're not looking at me. If they are looking at me, I'm just going to try to hit them as soon as possible. It doesn't matter where I'm aiming. I just want to hit that person and get damage on them. But if they're not looking... I'm going to take my time, line up my shot, unlike in this clip, and actually hit them really hard with a 60 or so damage crit. So therefore, I feel like if you're head bobbing, especially at close range, you're often going to be crouching into your opponent's headshot instead of crouching under their shot. Oftentimes, people aren't aiming at your head. They're just aiming to hit you. So if you're crouching and they're aiming at the center of your body, you're going to be putting your head right where they're aiming and causing your own death. That's all I have for this Let's Talk Fortnite. Please feel free to express your opinions about the patch in the comments section below. And don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of this Fortnite content, and let me know what you think about the Let's Talk Fortnite series. While the rest of the game footage plays out, I'd like to take the time to thank each and every one of you for making it to the end of the video. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about this new update, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.